Here we've got a 2014 Jeep Compass. We are in the engine controller and we're going to do a couple of special tests. I'm going to scroll down and we are going to perform the ETC throttle follower test or electronic traction control throttle follower test. Engine must not be running. And here's our data points. We've got TPS minimum voltage, TPS 1 minimum voltage, TPS 1 volts, TPS 2 minimum voltage, and TPS 2 volts. We'll try to get all four of them in here. And if I hit the throttle, and floor that. Oh, I gotta hit start. Here we go. If I hit the throttle and floor it, you can see that TPS1 voltage changes and TPS2 voltage does the opposite in effect. If I take my foot back off the throttle, the inverse always happens between from TPS1 to TPS2 volts. So there it's throttled down right now, wide open throttle. There it's back to the idle position. So what we're seeing is a good corresponding inverse value between TPS1 and TPS2 voltage. That is telling us we are getting proper test procedures on the ETC throttle follower test.